this is Susie here. I am going to do a tutorial on how to make my modified face mask cover or dust cover or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, um, let's get started. This is why I made a modified version of one that I had gotten off of YouTube. Um, this was the pattern. This was what I ended up with, which was not very big at all. And um, the nose curvature on the piece was very loose. So I took another one and kind of reshaped the curve on the nose and went straight across so it fits a lot better. And then your glasses, even if it's loose, your glasses or your eye protection will sit down on top of it and help seal off the air from going through. This is the design that I came up with. It's a three layer, 100% cotton, um, as tight as weave as I can find on the cotton um, material. Not pre-washed. If you get some of these from somebody else, you're probably gonna pre-wash it anyway, especially if you have allergies or you know, maybe somebody was a smoker, who knows, but just go ahead and wash it before you get them, and I suggest to air dry them. So, um, mine have a pocket on the inside, which you can utilize and stick this inside or keep it on the outside, doesn't matter. Or you can take one of these, put it inside of there, a coffee filter, a paper towel, a dry wet wipe, um, your imagination is unlimited on what you can put in there or use it without it. It's great to use for mowing your lawn during allergy seasons, keep the dust down, um, dust in your house. So I leave the elastic cord tied on the outside if I'm giving it away so they can adjust it and then you can turn it inside when you're done to look like this. Okay, well let's get started on how to make these. This pattern will be in the link below in this video so you can click on it and print it up. As you can see, it's got the inch of how big the bottom's supposed to be. Um, so that's four inches. So when you print it, make sure it's four inches. You can take it and reduce it 20% to make a child size mask and 20% to make a taller, but if you make a taller one, make sure that they are very well supervised. You might not want to do a toddler size, unless you know your toddler is really good at handling it. All right, I've taken my pattern and cut it out, and um, I'm laying it on top of my pre-ironed folded material, and I have it folded this way for a reason, and I'll tell you in just a minute. But anyway, you're gonna cut three of these for one mask. And so I take it and I place it and I pin it in place um, on all four sides. So I do one, two, three, four with the pins and then I cut it out and because I have it folded there, then I make sure I cut it at the bottom. So then you end up with two pieces like this and they're already together so you don't have to flip them just pin them, just pin them, and then um, it's ready to go to the sewing machine. Okay, now we're over to the machine with our cutout pattern pieces that we need. Um, we are gonna stitch across the top of this. Um, make sure that your needle setting is in the middle, so um, it's, set in the middle and make sure you have a tight stitch and very narrow <coughs> stitch on this and not a wide stitch. The wider the stitch you go, the more airflow that'll go through. So just make sure, um, you can't go too tight, but I would, I have mine set on a three. So, um, now I go through with an assembly line, but I'm just gonna um, do this one real quick. So, 
Now I can remove my pen and then I take my scissors and I trim away all the excess um, material and debulk this. So I have all of these ready to go and we'll get to the next step. So now that all these are sewn and you have trimmed back to debulk this a little bit so it's not really bulky in the um, nose or your mouth area. Um, take one of the ones that you're going to use for the inside pocket and trim off a portion. You can also make another pattern that makes one of them shorter if you really want to save material. But I just find out it's easier and then I figure out which one I'm going to use for my inside. So um, once you trim that off, then you're going to take this piece and you're going to fold it a little bit and then fold it a little bit more just so it doesn't ravel and then you're going to stitch this. Um, you're going to make sure you move your needle all the way to the far edge just stitch along this side is what I have been doing. You can also stitch along the inside if you're worried about it um, bulking up or anything but so far I've just been stitching right down the inside right there so make sure you move your needle over to the far edge so we're going to do this on both sides this side and then this side so this is for your pocket okay for the sake of the video I'm only going to do one I usually have an assembly line where I do all these pieces that I cut for the pocket and just go down one side and then cut them loose and then fold the other side and do the other side so I can get these done as quickly as possible. So I move my needle all the way over to the far side and I'm going to stitch. Some of y'all might want to back stitch, but this is going to be stitched in to the other part, so I'm not going to worry about it. So again, I fold twice over, just like this, and back again on the machine. away all the excess pieces and then our next part we'll put them together and pin them to get ready to sew. Okay this is the top and this is the bottom so you'll see that the bottom area for your chin is flat so we take this one and we open it up and go ahead and push that seam out with your fingers. Take your pocket piece that we just got off the machine, bottom, nose. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to take it and press that with your fingers. And you're going to lay it on there trying to match the seams, but it's not really critical at this point. And then this is the front of the mask. Sorry, I had to bottom, top, and this will go on facing backside towards you, inside towards the pocket. So when you get ready to flip them, turn them inside out after you sew them, then it will be correct. So you're going to take those, and I always start at the nose piece, and I match my seams together. and. If you have the nice little clips, that's nice. Um, I've never found any that I really like, so I stick with my handy dandy pins. So whatever works for you. Pin it together, clip it, and I just take two pins and do it on the top side first, and it's all matched. And I match the bottom side up.
One of these days I'll get a sewing room. <laughs> but I do this all in front of my TV. is pinned together. Looks really nice. Um, so we're going to take it to the sewing machine. Okay, so now we're back at the sewing machine. Make sure your needle is back in the center position. Um, always do this whole process. Make sure it's stitched tightly so you don't need to adjust um, your thread width. So I'm going to sew this up. remove my pins now and I'm going to take my scissors and debolt this and we'll be back in just a second. Okay, so now it's all trimmed um, off a little bit and got some of that excess fabric off so it's not bulky on your face at any point. Um, so now um, all pins are removed and we're ready to turn inside out. So way I did it. So the black is the front, the color is the back. So on this one. So you can use the same material. I just choose to use two different patterns. Um, don't know why. I guess it makes it easier to see. So it doesn't really matter what goes on the inside. It could be something really ugly out of date or something pretty uncoordinated because nobody's really going to see it. So now we have it turned inside out. At this point, I usually, after I get it kind of straightened out and ready to go, I usually take this back over to my iron and press it flat really good before I do the next step. Okay, so after I get it all pressed nice and flat, I take it and I trim some of this off to make it a little bit more even. Doesn't really matter how you cut the bottom edge. Um, doesn't, doesn't all have to be straight because you're going to do a lot of debulking on this. So um, after I trim that off and get it a little bit straighter, as you can see, then we take this and we are getting it ready to go back on the machine. So we're going to fold it in once and twice. And we're going to put this in the machine and we're going to sew right here. This is where I will back up and um, do that to keep the stitch from unraveling. Here we are ready to sew. Make sure you move your needle all the way over. I'm moving mine this way, which will probably be backwards in your video. So you're going to move it towards because you're going to need an open pocket to thread your elastic through. Um, I'm not talented enough to do a hairband through this one, but if you are a better sewer, then you can go ahead and pre sew with your headband, uh, ponytail holder, if that's what you're going to use. But I'm going to use elastic that can be tied and strung through. So my needle is over. I'm ready to go. So remember to back stitch a little bit. And do both 
both sides exactly like that. So again, we're going to fold it once, twice. needle needs to be in the same position when you flip it over you don't have to move it and repeat okay we're going to trim these loose stitch um, threads off and be right back Okay, I have a pipe cleaner. Some people can use a safety pin, but this pipe cleaner seems to work well. On this one, the thin uh, elastic cord, I can just thread it up through there. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna show you how I do it with the pipe cleaner. I bend a little end and then I push it up in here. All the way through. Um, so this, I think this is the one eight. It works well too, but it's easier to thread through with something to pull through. You could probably use a coat hanger. Um, anything that you got. I have several different things, but I pinch that down to grab it at the end, and then I pull through. Um, this piece has not been cut, so how I use to judge the size of elastic that I need, I double it and I add a little bit, uh, and so I cut. So this might be seven inches, so it gives them a little bit extra. So and then I take it and I tie it in a. Just a knot. This one's not cut, so we're not going to worry about that. And then um, every face is different, so I leave it a little loose and not pull it tight until it gets to the user. And then they can adjust it the way they need it to fit snugly on their face. And then you can take it and turn it inside the fabric. I suggest that you not cut the knot off in case the elastic breaks or something happens. And um, it needs to be repaired by tying another knot with the broken ends to get you by. Because you have to use it a lot longer or you use it. A lot so anyway so that looks a little bit a little bit better of course that would be trimmed off and say so you do both sides and there's your pocket so um, hopefully this helps like I said the pattern will be below in the comments and um, feel free to share it and and ask any questions I try to do the best I can and definitely want to help people in getting them what they need. So I'm going to be busy whipping out a lot of these to donate to hospitals and people who are in need. So have a good day.